Welcome to the Real Life Artist Podcast. This is the show where we discuss the challenges that come with being an artist, as well as ways you can overcome those challenges through practical applications, shared experiences, and general discussions. My name is Luke. I'm your host. Thank you for joining today. I'm excited you are here. I think we've got a lot of interesting things to talk about today. So the title for this episode is Life Doesn't Wait, Why Should You? And before we get into the content, I just want to thank you for tuning in and I want you to grab your favorite beverage, snack, or you know, if you're in your car going to work, just sit back, relax, enjoy the show. I think there's a lot to get out of this discussion and this topic today. So the topic is that, well, life doesn't wait, why should you? Life moves very fast, right? We all know this. And so if we aren't finding time in our every day for our artistic career, it's going to pass us by before we know it. And that's the crazy part. So just um, getting into it, you know, we kind of start to realize, or at least I have, that the older we get, the more we realize life moves way too fast and that we can just miss opportunities if we're not attentive. You know, we get home at the end of our work day or from our job or, you know, whatever it is that us artists are doing. If you've got a day job, um, I'm assuming most of us do. And we say, then we'll work on our business. Then we'll make great music. Then we'll work out. But the thing is, how often do we actually get home at the end of the day and get these things done. For some of us, and I know myself for the longest time, it was not so often. But but the key here, right, to, to this, you know, getting things done, is that obviously we're told we need to ignore the fact that there's going to be a perfect time to start and that we should just start now. But that's just the issue, isn't it? That phrase, just start now, doesn't really work for anyone directly, does it? Because, you know, so often we hear like in motivational speeches and stuff like just start, like get up, start working. And that phrase just start now doesn't, it, it, in that way, it doesn't land, it doesn't hit. You know, we, we hear things like you just have to stop making excuses and go. Um, or, you know, even if you don't want to do it, go and do it. Or you don't have a business, just go start one. Just go start it. And you know what? Those statements are grounded in truth. Yes. We shouldn't wait to take action, um, but they're not useful if they're just thrown at us with no explanation, no application, no way to actually work through these things. And that's what we're going to discuss today. How we can take action when we don't want to or we don't know how to. Either one, because I've got a suspicion that happens quite a lot. So let's get into it. There are five key points, five important key points um, that are going to help us with this. And that first one is mindset. Mindset is everything. Point one, we need to adjust our mindset. But the thing is, um, how? Like, okay, Luke, that's cool, but like, how? Um you know, I'm sort of getting sick of this mantra being thrown away without, or thrown around, excuse me, without any practical advice. Well, here's some practical advice. First off, get silent time daily to become uh, in present in the moment. You know, let's not worry about the past or the future. We need to become still in this noisy world this noisy, distracted world every single day. You know, we, we've got cell phones where we're always blasted with messages and emails, and we've got work screens and phone screens and TV screens and, and all this. So the first thing for the mindset to, to improve our mindset is to get daily time in silence. Time where we can just think for a minute, where we can collect ourselves and be in in the moment, not worrying about the future, the past, etc. The other thing is, and this is point two, to read daily. 
and I mean a book. Now, it could be paper, could be an audiobook, you know, ho however you best receive information. But let's always be taking in information and learning and strengthening our knowledge, our mind, our wisdom. Because if we're not strengthening it, it's not going to grow, it's going to atrophy, it's going to go in the opposite direction. And the third thing for our mindset, to build a good mindset, is to build great habits. These are so key, so important. We discussed this in episode one. So if you have a chance, go back and listen to it on ways, very practical ways, you can build good habits. I swear it is completely going to be worth your time. It'll go a really long way. But so the thing with habits, all right, let, let's just talk about this and get this in the open for a minute. Habits do affect our mindset because every habit that we do subconsciously casts a vote to our brain about who we are. So if we're doing a lot of bad habits, our brain is being cast subconsciously a lot of votes that we're doing things that don't align with our end goals. If we have good habits, oh, we're doing things that align with our end goals, that's really going to affect your mindset too. So super, super key, super important to work on our daily habits. So again, for a lot more in-depth content, please listen to episode one after this episode. I guarantee it is worth your time. Uh, four for mindset, point number four, and this is very real in our society, Stop doom scrolling every day. When I mean when I say doom scrolling, I mean, you know, on your phone you're just endlessly scrolling through news feeds, through social media. It's not healthy. It's it's not going to help us. That you, you want to fix bad habits, that's one to cut out. Doom scrolling. Instead, take time to be curious, take time to learn. And you know, not to sound harsh, <laughs> But, you know, you ever come in a room with a bunch of people and they've, you know, they've all got things to contribute and maybe you're sitting there, or, you know, whatever, because I know this was me for a while. It's like, man, I don't really have anything to contribute. It's because we're not taking in anything good. We're just taking in garbage by doom scrolling all day. So cut that out for mindset. Um, the next point and final point for mindset is to challenge your intrusive thoughts. In other words, why do I think this about myself? Why do I think this about my life? So get to the roots of those thoughts. For example, you know, if we're telling ourselves, I don't even know where I'm going in life or what I'm doing anymore, find a way to challenge that and get to the roots. Because I know getting clear on things can be very difficult and it can, it can just be confusing. So... This is a little bit what we talked about in episode two, questioning the lies that we tell ourselves, taking lies and turning them into questions. But in, in this case, we're going to take those intrusive thoughts and turn them into questions. So we would turn, I don't know what I'm doing in life, into this question. What do I want to do? What is that gut feeling that tells me I'm supposed to be doing this with my life? but I'm denying that thing because I don't know the way to accomplish it yet. Or, or put this way, what's that thing, you know, deep in the pit of your stomach that makes you sick to your stomach when I'm not doing it, when I'm not doing this thing? Does that make sense? I'm going to repeat that again because that's very important. What's the thing that makes me sick to my stomach when I'm not doing it? I know I should be doing this with my life. And when you're not doing it, you know, subconsciously, you know, you're getting really tense and you're not feeling great. That might be something that you should be doing, but you're just denying it because, oh, I don't know how I'm going to make it happen or, or this or the other. We're going to figure that out. But we need to really get to the root and be like, what's that thing that I'm denying because I don't know how to accomplish it or it's making me sick to my stomach. This really helped me get <clears throat> so clear on my goals. I, I got into this habit and this mindset where it's like, oh, well, 
I want to do music, but I'm going to sweep that under the rug because I don't really know how to get there. I don't know what to do. I don't know the steps to take to make it full time. It's too much effort, too much thinking. But every time I wasn't doing it, I was like, I was like getting sick feeling. I was like, man, this is, I feel horrible when I'm not almost like guilty if I wasn't working on it. So I sort of had to make a choice. Am I going to cut music off forever because it's making me feel terrible or should I just follow it? And I did decide to follow it. But there was a moment there where I was like, mm, don't know if I want to follow through on that. So ask yourself, what's that thing that makes me sick to my stomach when I'm not doing it? So that's so firstly, you know, the, the five steps of, you know, not waiting, taking action is fixing our mindset. So those are the practicals for mindset Two, moving on to point number two. We need to realize that we don't have to start an entire company today. Now listen, it's important to not waste our time and to use our time to work very efficiently. We only have so much time for leisure, so much time to work. We need to be using it efficiently. But that doesn't mean everything has to be ready or that we have to start everything today. So give yourself a little time, a little grace. Obviously, don't, don't be lazy, but... Give yourself a little time and a little grace on this. So for example, here, you know, this is no strong defined definite structure, but you know, maybe one day or the first day is a good day to plan. The second day, you set up the basics. The third day, you test your process. The fourth day, you refine it. And the fifth day, you try again. You plan for next week. Try things over. What went wrong? What went well? The key here is to break down massive goals into smaller steps that are actually possible. But the other key is to actually plan, to actually put things on paper or a note-taking app, you know, whatever you want. Just not in your head. Because if we're not taking these thoughts to pen we're not actually putting them down anywhere. We might forget, we might not do it correctly, and we just need a daily reminder of what they actually are. So the takeaway of point number two, realize you don't need to start an entire company today. Break tasks into smaller, actually doable tasks, or steps rather, excuse me. And so three. So, so far we've done mindset, fixed mindset, it's everything. Two, realize you don't have to start an entire company today. And three, the third step to taking action is realize research and motion, we'll call it. Research is not taking action. So listen, there's a difference between taking action and researching. Not as though researching and learning is not important because it's incredibly important to be clear. And it's something we have to do in our artistic careers. We have to learn, absolutely. But the thing with, with just researching and learning is we get stuck in analysis paralysis, where we're just analyzing everything, but we're not taking action. You know, you think you're doing something when you research, but really nothing is getting done at all. And here, here's why we do this. This is why we do it and why it's so tempting. It allows you to feel like you're actually doing work without being able to fail. I'm going to say that again. It allows you researching and in, in learning and in, in analysis paralysis, not taking action essentially. It allows us to feel like we're doing something without being able to fail. And that's why it's so easy to fall into this. But the thing is, I um I refer to you know research and stuff as moving or or stuck in motion rather um, it's not taking action there's a difference. A friend of mine put it this way uh, he said he heard this somewhere can't quite recall where but you can constantly row um, on one side of a canoe you now let's just say you're only doing you know the right side or whatever what's going to happen you're just going to go in circles. You're moving, you're in motion, but you're not going forward, you're not taking action, you're not getting progress. You're going in circles. 
So we need to make sure we're not being stuck in motion. We're actually taking action. We're moving forward. We're not stuck in motion, just reading, just, or not reading, just researching. And, you know, again, those reading and learning and research, super, super important. But we also need to actually get things done, actually make something tangible, actually make a song, actually write a book, actually do whatever. I'm just going to end this point by basically saying research uh, is incredibly important and learning and, you know, being in motion, it's not necessarily an entirely bad thing. Let's just make sure we're not only doing that. We're doing both. We're taking action, making something tangible, because really to learn best, you have to do something, you have to fail, you have to realize where you can improve. Cool. So, so far, we've addressed that mindset is everything, realize you don't have to start a company today, and then research is not taking action. Fourth, starting when you don't know how. The most important thing is if you're starting your goal, your, your artistic career, pat on the back to you because it's difficult. Um, but the most important thing if you don't know how to start is to define your goals. We need a goal to reach if we're going to get there, because if we don't have anything to reach, we're just going to, again, maybe go in circles, aimlessly wander. It's not going to work. So actually write down your goals. This could be pen and paper, a journal, just somewhere you're going to see it every day. Maybe like put on your bathroom door, um, on your on your phone, like home screen, just somewhere you can see it. Actually write it down. Don't let's not let's not just keep things in our head. So here's the thing, though, because if we can't identify our goals, we need to be asking ourselves the previous question. Like if you're, if you're having an issue like, well, I don't really know what my goal is. Ask yourself that question that, you know, what's that thing in the depth of my soul and the pit of my stomach where I know like subconsciously I'm always told to do this, but like I'm just trying to push it away. I think that might be a great starting place or indication of what you might want to uh, set your goal to. And finally, the last and final point, starting when you don't want to. So there's starting when you don't know how, but there's also starting when you don't want to, right? Um, so the important thing here is that we create systems for getting things done. We create systems. Don't worry too much about our emotions and how we feel. So essentially, to start when you don't want to, you need to be able to create ways of getting things done without really having to think about it. So you think now for your future self. And this is what we mean when we say create systems. So for example, if you make a lot of music, one thing that might be helpful is to pick your sounds ahead of time. So that would kind of be a system. Another thing is, oh man, I, j I just, uh, I get a task done this certain way in this certain order. You know, you could make that a habit. Basically, we're, we're just making ways, reliable solutions to common problems is essentially what we're doing. So when we really don't feel like doing something, we can just tell ourselves, man, like, I just know I'm not feeling it, but like, I have a solution. It's really easy. I've done this a million times. I'll just use my system and we can get things done that way. So starting when you don't want to, we need to create systems work on habits, break things down into smaller, achievable goals daily. Just tell yourself, man, I really don't want to do this today. Well, that's okay. I'm just going to follow the system. I don't have to think about it. Um, it. It will kind of sort of guide me through this process. That's starting when you don't want to. So let's summarize and wrap up. Thank you for sticking around for those of you who are still listening. So to summarize, number one, Work on your mindset. Get silent time, be still, get clear on your goals, and improve your habits. That's mindset. Two, realize you don't need to start an entire company today. Break tasks into smaller steps. Three, research and motion are not action. Don't get stuck only researching or learning all the time. Learn to take action also. Four, when you don't know how to start, clearly define your goals and write them down. What's that gut feeling you're getting that you have to be doing, even if you don't know how to do it yet? And a five, and finally, when you don't want to work, 
create proven systems so that your future self is set up for success. And when your emotions and thoughts get in the way, you've got a system that already has done the work for you. So that is our content. Thank you for listening. I hope this episode has been incredibly insightful for your musical journey. I uh, would love to hear your stories, your comments, your suggestions for future episodes, everything and anything. Check the show notes for ways to reach out and send this information to me. Would love to hear from you. Um, Yes, this has been Real Life Artist. I am your host once again, Luke. Uh, Thank you for tuning in and have a great day. Thank you.